Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on Mr. Jeff Yeager's new release, The House That Dripped Blood, otherwise known as Peter on a Platter. Peter Platter. This is a beautiful kit. I'm going to move it up here a little bit so we can kind of take a look at it and you can see the uh, all the detail that Jeff has in here. Kind of spin it to the side. So you can see all the blood dripping alongside the house. Around the back. Go to the other side. As the blood continues to flow. And back to the front. You can see Jeff has the house in there. Which uh, if you haven't seen this film give it a look. It's based on a house that has different occupants move in, but uh, there's something wrong with the house. Hmm. This episode in particular uh, was very good with uh, Mr. Peter Cushion. Anytime you get Peter Cushion in something, it's going to be good, right? And it's just uh, just beautifully sculpted. This one is based on the uh, box art from the film where you see her holding the platter with. Uh, Mr. Cushing's head on it, freshly on the platter after a mysterious disappearance of this mysterious woman. This is available right now, and they are casted by Mr. Paul Gill at Gilman Productions, so you know it's going to be good. But for now, we're going to talk about what we did to bring this kit to life. Are you guys ready? Well, Peter's kind of, you know, he'll go with the whatever... This is what we're going to do right now, right? The woman is ready for her next victim. So let's go. I began by priming the complete kit in Rust-Oleum Gray Primer. Now I base coated the hair using Freak Flex Body Bake Black and the skin area using Freak Flex Rose Flesh. And Anita Black was used for the base and the tray. I highlighted the skin areas using Freak Flex Pale Flesh and Garage US Bright Flesh and shaded and shading to the face, chest, and arms using Garage US Transparent Mars Red. I added more highlights using Freestyle Virgin Flesh, Garage US Garage US Kit Flesh, and more shading using Transparent Mars Red. The hair was then dry brushed using Freak Flex Grave Parlor Gray. Now I decided to quiet it all down, so I pulled out my transparent black, uh, quieted things down a little bit, and added more highlights again using that transparent Mars red. I painted in the eyes using Freak Flex Banshee Shadow Gray and Garage US Tongue for the lower eyelid area. And Body Bag Black was used to uh, paint in the eyes. I then moved to the base. I dry brushed the house using Folk Art Dove Gray. Freak Flex Ripper Red was used for the blood, and Freak Flex Silver Bullet for the serving plate. And then, of course, quieted it all down using some transparent black. Then I decided to highlight the blood a little further using Freestyle True Red. So I went back in to finish off the woman's face. I base coated the skull area of her face using Freak Flex Banshee's Gray which is actually a shadow gray, which is a very nice, it's kind of white, but yet it's gray. And then I also use that for the teeth, which I base coated that first using Freak Flex Rotten Tooth Tan. And then for the eyes, I pulled out some Freak Flex Nocturnal Blue for her eyes. I then shaded the skull area using Garage US Transparent Pains Gray. Then of course you come back in with your uh, Banshee shadow gray and do some dry brushing. It's a process of going back and forth until you get the look that you are looking for. Because if you remember, 
on the uh, box art, she has like a normal face, which uh, kind of morphs into the skull area, because basically these were just skulls with flesh put over them. So at this point, I shaded the hair using Freestyle Transparent Bird Sienna. That way I had some gray, some black, some uh, uh, reddish into her hair. And I also uh, hit the area around the eyes using some transparent black to give them that sunken in look. I highlighted the teeth and skull areas using the Freak Flex Banshee's Gray. And then of course, once again, shaded some more using the uh, transparent Payne's Gray. And then the final color was Freak Flex Warlock Blue was used for the eye color. And then of course, Body Bay Black was lightly used for the pupil. And believe it or not, she's done. On to Peter. I base coated the face using Reaper Tan Skin and use Freestyle Pale Flesh to shade the face and then highlight it using Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and also some Freak Flex Rose Flesh. I shaded the eyes and mouth area using Garage US Transparent Mars Red. I painted in the hair areas using Anita Black and added more highlights to the raised areas of the face using the original tan skin color. And the tongue uh, was used for the lower eyelid areas and black for the eyes. I painted in Peter's eyes using Freak Flex Arterial Blue and Garage US Dark Brown was used for Peter's eyebrows and Anita Black for the pupils for Peter and the girl. And also for Peter's hair, I just pulled out some of the Dove Gray and lightly did some dry brushing and then quieted it down with some uh, transparent black. And of course, I once again went back over the platter, over that uh, silver bullet, just to kind of dirty it up a little bit and dry brush the rings of the platter with the silver bullet just to uh, have some different shading of it going on. And believe it or not, the kit was done. So that is Peter on a Platter, currently available from Mr. Jeff Yeager, and uh, castings by Paul Gill. I will put Jeff's information in right now if you want to reach out and uh, tell Jeff that you've seen this review and this paint up on Talking Models, and that you want to get one. Uh, the cost for the kit is $120, and it's a lot of kit for the money. And uh, you won't be sorry that you, to add this one to your collection. It's just a memorable movie, The House of Drip Blood, and a memorable scene from the uh, posters and the uh, DVD box art, everything that's on there, and you can't go wrong. And this is also an opportunity for you to subscribe to Talking Models and join our family. Help me get to that number 500, and I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, as we navigate through this uh, YouTube channel and talk about models, painting tutorials, kit reviews, everything models and uh, if you have any ideas uh, please hit me up send me an email to shadowcreations at gmail.com and uh, let me know some ideas you may have on things you may want to see this is your channel that I facilitate so I appreciate all of your support I appreciate everything you've uh, meant to me in this channel as we've grown and I just hope that today is a day that you go out and enjoy the day uh, we're in October here in Michigan and uh, Colors are changing, football's going, college sports are on. Uh, everything is just my weather. Pretty soon the hoodies come out and I'm living the dream. So thanks again for stopping in today to talk models. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.